Hello. All right. You are welcome. Today, we're going to create a perspective design. Okay. So, let's jump to Pixel Lab. All right. So, this is Pixel Lab. All right. So, the size is going to be, we're going to use a size um, that looks like YouTube thumbnail. All right. Okay. So, the first thing we want to do is to write the word perspective. Okay. So, just go ahead and just type perspective and the other words you want to use. All right. I've done that already. So, once you have done it like this, all right, you drag it here. You choose this font here. A long font, any long font that you have, you can use it. So you drag it like this. You are done with that. Then you can come over to this place here. Um, this part, this guy here. Right? So you click there like this. I mean this then you click on transparent background. Okay, so when you click on the transparent background, you will be able to save as a transparent background so when you are done you just save it all right to save it's very very easy so click on this button here and then save as image and then png just save right i'm not saving because i've saved it already so i just want to go into action now so let me start now so what, I, what i'm going to do right now is to import the saved perspective the word perspective what i've seen which is this one here so i'm going to just crop this out like this just the perspective then i'm going to bring it here like this so reduce it like this so that you're able to manipulate it very well i want to make the background um all right so just for this tutorial let's make it white all right so let's make it white so i'm going to come over here now all right and i'm going to look for the perspective tool it is here I've clicked it. I will have to enable it. Then I will drag this here and I will drag this here and I will drag this there and I will drag this there and I will drag this there. All right. So I want you to get very close to this part. All right. So that is it. You can see now that I've already created this part perspective um, effect. Very, very easy. Straight to the point, right? So um you're going to bring in this guy somebody that is jumping All right so i'm going to crop it like this okay so let me assume that he's jumping from the other side so i'm going to do this All right so i'll reduce it now all right so let it look like the end is resting upon that s okay all right but i want the leg to go back to go to back of the um the whole stuff there so that there are few ways you can do this okay so sometimes you can just bring just a word to the front um that is just the e and the um c okay So watch what I want to do now. Um, I'm going to do this. Go to text. Okay. Okay. It's, it is like an image. Alright. So you will not be able to edit it. Okay. But this is what we're going to do now. Take a look at the picture. From the leg region you will see that something can go out. So what we'll do is I will copy it first, like this, copy. I've copied it, so I'm working on this guy now. So I'm going to go to Eraser. All right, so I'm going to try to remove from this part, from this part, like this. Just that first, and then I'll do this. Okay, so you can see that we can we increase this like this all right okay 
cool. So it means that let's delete this. It means that I can copy this. I can copy this and then I'll restore the leg. So let's come to eraser. I think that's not gonna work all right so it's gonna work so we would all right so what we'll do now is this so this guy now is cool let's remove it let's bring in a fresh image which is this let's adjust it like this all right so let's do this Okay, let's do this also. Okay. So which of the parts am I going to remove? And which of the parts is going to be left? So from the from the hand to the Alright, so I've seen it. So I'm going to come over here now. Then I will do this, do this, then I'm going to take this guy out. Alright, leaving just a little of this part here so i'm increasing this one okay just like that so i can reduce it like this and put it there you see that now i can fix it perfectly there like that are you seeing that now so that means i can send it to the back now sorry back I'll send it to the back. Are you seeing it now? So it's looking just the way I want it to look. Okay? So if you want to play around with text and everything, you can come over here and um, change the color to this. Alright? Then change the background to, let's say, white. Alright? See that now? So... It's just that so that's how you go to add the perspective effect on this guy very very easy and um, you can come over here and add a shape like this yeah okay let's say from here so we'll just go to perspective again right here and then we'll do this so and, and make sure you enable it all the time so that you you'll be seeing what you're doing Right, then this is going to come here it's going to come here all right so I've enabled this and then I'm done so I'm gonna adjust it a little all right so the word that's going to be there is that read the capture so I'm going to come here and I'll import this and I'll crop this out this time around all right so I'll reduce it right the color is going to be black or any of your, any color of your choice then you go to perspective here and then you enable it and then begin to adjust it okay so i'd like to leave it like this all right so that's just easy for you to do and then you can subscribe to my youtube channel for more tutorials like this and i'll see you in the next video hola